City of Ears podcast, episode 51. Like, for real, we're back. I very much apologize for the spotty uh, audio quality, uh, especially from Viv's mic in the first three or four minutes. I promise it goes away, it gets fixed. But, um, you know, it's our first time back and we were live. So here we go. Enjoy. Welcome to the City of Heroes podcast, a resource for the casual Heroes gamer. Your hosts, Shooch and Viv, are here to explain basic and advanced features of COH, as well as give tips and answer your questions about this great MMO. Video wasn't there for a second. That scared me. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chooch, and this is my lovely wife, Viv. Say hi. Hi, I'm Viv. <laughs> yeah, your microphone's working great. Sorry. This Yay. Is a very, very new setup, and so, um, welcome to the City of Heroes podcast. Um, we are we're back (laughs) (laughs) we did a special episode what two years ago and um two and a half half. (laughs) two and a half and at the time we said you know well our uh you know we're not coming back this is just you know a one-time thing and um the servers are back and that was huge news and we wanted to share that and uh Y'all do better. You knew, you knew, you knew. knew. (laughs) And there was actually requests. And so, yeah, we've um, we've been uh, busy, busy, busy bunnies like everybody else in the world, but decided to start uh, podcasting about this game again. Um, Yeah. Playing it nonstop since the uh, private servers came on board. And and so, yeah, so here's... um, technically episode 51 with just a really long break um like proto episode what do you say praetorian episode <laughs> zero yeah zero, parallel universe episode zero. Zero, zero, world episode zero we want to do just a quick reintroduction to us and um <clears throat> talk about what we what we have planned um for the the future so uh you know like I said, I'm Chooch. I've been playing uh, City of Heroes. I played it, well, we both played it <clears throat> on live, starting um, around when um, around when Villains was launched, were launched, City of Villains, and uh, played for years and started the podcast talking about it and had a great time doing that. Um, on the outside, um, you know, married we've got a family with three wonderful boys i'm a musician and an it geek and been playing video games since you know we're um 80s kids so uh yeah pre-atari <laughs> both of us <laughs> you want to say a little bit about yourself um you cover, you cover a, lot a lot of really, really great bases. bases. We, we also, also have, have become brand in, in our, our hiatus. hiatus. <laughs> Through, <laughs> Through no, no work, work of our own. own. Um, <laughs> but, but to <laughs> our delight. Uh, we, we have, have he's, he's now six, six and he is wonderful. wonderful. Um, um, let's, let's see. We have, have put, put off. We, we kind of, kind of well, well, okay, okay if I'm, I'm just, just talking, talking about, about me. me. Um, um, so, so I have, have some, some health, health issues, issues that keep me kind of limited at home, home. But, but you know, that's, that's okay these days because everybody's, everybody's at home, home lately. <laughs> and, and I started, I started streaming, streaming uh, earlier this, this year just to kind of try and, um, you know, get out of the, get out of my head. And there's so many fun games out there and I was having a lot of fun watching other streamers. And I'm really misconnecting with people that like to talk about what I like to talk about, which was mainly City of Heroes. Chooch and I have been playing since the um, Homecoming servers went live in April of 2019. And that's one of the reasons that we have not restarted the podcast before now, because we've just been having too much fun. 
And uh, so I'm streaming, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I think we should go ahead and do those up front, babe. I am streaming at twitch.tv slash vivid muse, of course. That is the name I have across the socials. Um, and so that's where you can find me. And Chooch does some streaming, hopefully some more in the future at twitch.tv slash chuchus c-h-o-o-c-h-u-s and then of course where we are recording coh podcast live you can find at twitch.tv slash chooch and viv we plan on doing a couple of different things in addition to coh podcast we decided to stop putting it off and just do it all under this one twitch channel and of course chooch is stripping out the audio and going to be posting it online and that's probably how some of y'all are hearing this hopefully we're still in your feeds and uh yeah yeah that, that's what i'm mainly doing right now is trying to wrap my brain around twitch tv we've been having so much fun we found a great little community of cohers players and streamers and it's been so fun and so on wednesday nights chooch and i stream with our friend uh trauma train rich he also has a twitch we've kind of gotten him streaming now too <laughs> growing our kingdom um but anyways yeah so uh trauma train rich and chooch and i play together on wednesday nights, nights. we play <gasps> red side you guys it's wicked wednesdays and it's so fun we have so 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 much i know we're playing red side can you believe it the kids are all grown there's no reason not to and then on saturdays like later today at five o'clock uh, mountain or uh, seven o'clock Eastern. Eastern. We're going to be playing our usual Saturday night game, which is Blue Side. Unless it's like last weekend, an extra life weekend, and the devs grant you permission to stream the new Red Side content that's on the beta server. But more about that later. <laughs> it was really fun. But we're usually Blue Side on Saturday nights, though. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Sweet. <laughs> I, uh, let me Did I see. forget Let's anything? Catch us up. Sweet. No, no, no. This is perfect. I'm sitting here twiddling knobs and things because I kept uh, getting you doubled again. And. But now it's good. Now it's good. All right. <laughs> All right. I had. Uh, yeah, that was this very. This is why confusing. we didn't announce it anywhere. It was very, very <laughs> confusing for a moment, but you know. If we still have. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, this is why we didn't announce it. We weren't sure how this uh, software was going to work. So. Yeah. Who knows? We may be re recording the whole audio part again. Right? <clears throat> yeah, nah, I think just a little bit of editing. Or maybe I'll just leave it in. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're, when you're live, it's a different vibe altogether. Right? We're here, we're hanging. We made sure we're in a category that people won't pay attention to us in, and it's great. <laughs> Your AFK character, by the way, you might log out before you mean to. Oh yeah, I was I was go going to the base. To the base. That's what I was doing. And then I got distracted with controls and sliders. And, <laughs> and, uh... I understand that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're a whole broadcast studio <laughs> now, and just instead of just a recording studio. So um, I want to discuss real quick kind of our plans for the future. There's um, so many different topics to talk mm. about. There are so many things that we missed um, when we were doing the podcast. You know, yeah. we, we had stopped before the game sunset. Yeah. Um, we got we, busy. Yeah, we were doing different things. So, um, whoops, <laughs> I just started trying to walk forward and actually put a bunch of w's in the uh in our show notes document that's not going to help anybody hey, here we go we can line up yeah Whoop. camera <laughs> these are our two uh our two main characters our first 50s from <laughs> um so <clears throat> What we're gonna, what we plan to do, is um, each episode we're gonna have, um, you know, if there's any kind of new news about the game, 
um, if there's any, um, um, I don't know, salient, important things that you need to know. We'll do like brand new patch notes for Homecoming. We're primarily yes. going to focus on Homecoming because that's where we've been playing and it um, it has the highest population, and um, we're going to talk about um, one of our topics is going to be all of the different servers that are available because there's half a dozen really yeah. solid servers with um, uh, with great communities. But um, Homecoming um, somewhat recently started allowing streaming from within the servers, yeah. And so that's where we're playing. <laughs> And so I'm glad they didn't initially, though, because that led us to trying out a couple of the other servers. So we got a little bit of the flavor for what they're doing on uh, two other servers. And, um, you know, when they said that we could stream from Homecoming, it was just kind of a relief because it's where I kind of consider our home now. Mm -hmm. You know, they do such yeah. a good job and the community is so amazing. <laughs> 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 He's cooler than us, you guys. He's cooler than us. <laughs> really Chuch pick a better his character uh, dancing in the bass. <laughs> yeah, that's a better dance. Okay. Um... <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So we'll do kind of patch notes on for homecoming if there's new changes, um, and then we will have kind of a main topic. And that main topic um, for a little bit, what we're going to do is cover the changes that happened from issue to issue since we left off the podcast. We left off the podcast um, on issue I-18. Hmm. And we are... We dropped that ball. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on how you count, or at least how Homecoming counts, they're now on I-27 issue 27 so we'll start doing um we'll do a special segment you know <clears throat> covering kind of the major changes from issue 18 19 20 21 blah 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 and then sunset and um what was in beta at the time um we're probably we're going to do sooner than that sooner than going all the way to 18 we're going to do a special on basically what happened between sunset and the new servers that came on i i25 um the score server so that's yeah. two and a two and a half years ago so we'll do that one first and then we'll jump back in time um i just, just want to reiterate uh one of the things that i want to do without waiting until we get to the issue that they made the changes. They've made some really interesting changes to some of the basic power sets here on Homecoming, and I don't know about the other servers, but I don't want to wait until we get to issue 23 or whatever mm. uh, to discuss the changes. So I am hoping next episode that we do, I'm going to do a little like explanation explanation of what the tra travel powers look like now on, on Homecoming. Um, it's a little different, nothing you can't figure out on your own, but I do want to walk through it and uh, invisibility too, because those are some basic things that have changed a little bit, and it's just good to know the differences and and all that kind of stuff. At least how they're doing it on Homecoming. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> Definitely, we're gonna cover um, different game content. You know, we'll do like an episode about uh, how the auction house currently works. There's a lot of changes with that with score. Um, base building and um, doing uh, enhancement sets, doing custom builds using Mids Reborn. Um, we'll do uh, an episode on farming. We'll do an episode on the incarnate system. And we definitely want to get back into lore specials. Um, yeah. We're going to do some deep dives into the lore of the universe, the time scale, and all of our favorite uh, signature villains and, and uh, enemy groups um yeah and so let just everything we'll do an episode everything. on on the server code um for for technical people if you're interested on how that happened um on running your own private server um it's very they it's become pretty easy now to yeah. do um modding the clients so yeah we're gonna we've got and um we've got ideas for all sorts of 
uh, people to interview in all of these different spheres and that kind of stuff too. Um, so really looking forward to, to jumping back into this. And part of what, what got us back into, you know, I wanted to talk about kind of like what's been happening with us the last couple of years since the, the servers came back, um, well, since the, the private servers launched or were revealed. <laughs> Um, we have consistently been playing the whole time. We've reconnected with old friends that we played with on live. Yeah. We've reconnected with some of the, the podcast listeners. Yeah. And um, so we've been doing a regular session, you know, at least once or twice a week uh, playing with friends. And the... Um, the kind of legality of the servers was so up in the air. We had talked about, you know, doing the podcast and I don't know, are we allowed to talk about it? What are we allowed to talk about? Could we, well, we can't stream from homecoming. You know, they said no streaming and they were in discussions with, um, with NCSoft or whoever owns NCSoft now <laughs> yeah. on keeping the server up and running and alive. And, uh, so they did a lot of legal work and, and, you know, as far as we know, I don't know that we've ever seen an official document or anything, but, um, you know, got permission to keep the servers running, um, and to let people keep playing. And for a long time, one of that was that you couldn't stream it. And eventually they said, you know, they allowed, eventually they allowed streaming. They, they got that agreement that, um, which is significant because, um, and, and now it's still kind of weird area, right? Because Twitch says, you know, you can't stream a game that you don't own the intellectual property to or whatever, and it's technically closed. And, like, we don't know. Is there a document somewhere <laughs> that says yeah. people are allowed to stream? Or is Twitch just going to pull the plug and pull all the VODs out of the blue somewhere? It could happen. Mm. But, all it uh, takes is one letter, I think, from right? NCSoft, and that happens. So. Yeah. Not that we recommend, you know, having or using this, um, the private server code that was leaked, you know, against NCSoft's wishes. Mm -hmm. We are not encouraging anyone to do it. We are not asking anyone to do it. But we can help you figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm sure that's bad too, but you know, it's, it's just where we are right now you know to find out that the game was being enjoyed for eight years or however long when the rest of us were going every like couple of months going i'd kill to do a frost fire right now and skate on that <laughs> damn ice again you know <laughs> or whatever um you know we've got the game back and it's one of those things don't worry about tomorrow what we what we don't have to so right <laughs> we're just gonna keep rolling with it and you know, they can sue me if they want to. <laughs> they can have all five of my pennies. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and, and that is directly what led us back to the podcast was Viv started streaming the game and, mm -hmm. uh, and having a lot of fun. And we fell in with a really, well, City of Heroes has always had such a great community. That's one of the, the yeah. highlights of this game, period, is, is uh, people... You know, people are generally really good people. And sure enough, we fell into the streaming community, the the dollhouse. Yeah. And uh, a lot of great people, a handful of streamers, and everybody's very supportive and very helpful. And just a genuine delight to team with and uh, stream with. And, and hang with. <laughs> yeah. And doing that, we had some of the um, previous City Fears listeners that uh had tuned into some of the streams and and you know we started talking more about the uh more about relaunching and here we are so <laughs> yeah that's been us the all last true few weeks. fantastic foe and or, yeah. or may also known as pat man and nod and timberwolf immortal amazon be still my heart <laughs> um you know it's just been really fun as people have come by and others also i'm sorry for not remembering your name that's one of the things that you guys might want to get used to is that my memory now is really really bad so <laughs> if i don't get to write it down it might not be remembered but that's okay because that's what video is for right, <laughs> right? exactly 
<laughs> it's been really fun connecting though with folks and that's it's actually caused me to dive into like uh last week we were streaming and uh, a reference was made to nipples <laughs> and Chooch and I were like, that's familiar, Nubbles. but can't quite Nubbles. recall. So that led me hmm. doing a deep dive into the archive and just you guys and your imaginations back then were my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it just like made made me miss you guys and it made Chooch miss you guys because I was whining about it a lot. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's going to be different because we're going to record live. You guys can join us in the conversation along in the chat. And uh, it's we've, we're finding the gaming to be more fun now that we've added kind of like this interactive aspect, you know? It's really fun. And hopefully some of you guys can join us when we are recording uh, these live, because that would be fun. Yeah, for real. So that's, that's, that's our intro. That's our... Uh... So if we're following the new format, well... Pretty much the same format we had before. We're going to move on to patch notes. Patch notes. Actually, going to cover two, the last two patch notes on Homecoming, which is uh, issue 27, page two, um, is what we're currently on. There was so there was a patch early on October 5th, and the last patch was on November 2nd. Mm hmm. And you want to read those? Sure. The October 5th patch was essentially um, announcing the Halloween event, which is now ended. So we're going to skip all that. But it was so fun, you guys. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch base on it just so that folks that didn't play on it can, that might be wondering what that involved. involved. It, yes, indeed, it inv involved trick-or-treating in all the city zones. Uh, they have the Whispered Rumor Tip Missions, Dr. Kane's House of Horror, uh, Zombie Apocalypse, and the Deadly Apocalypse. There were Halloween vendors in Croatoa, uh, Nerva Archipelago, Archipelago, and Imperial City. There was the Seasonal Makeover in Atlas Park. And uh, the Eternal Night went on for a couple of weeks. And they also fixed some bugs. <laughs> the Brickstown <laughs> Prison, and again, this is on the Homecoming server. Uh, the the Brickstown Prison event has been bugged for a little bit, which uh, it wasn't spawning enough prisoners to complete, which was very frustrating the time that we tried to do it during that yeah. period of time. So frustrating. <laughs> it's fixed now. Um, and then there's the November 2nd patch notes, which announced that the Halloween event had ended-ish. It kind of announced it, <laughs> that it had ended, but we all knew it was coming. Uh, Paragon City Hall has once again approved the budget to replace every tree in Atlas Park with pine trees for the holiday season. Your text influence at work. <laughs> and they fixed a client crush when attempting to create a character with an invalid power set combination. That would be frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much <clears throat> it. Yeah. <laughs> there was now they do I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm not going to spoil it but I'm going to spoil it in a sense in that there are definitely uh there's like one of the really cool things about the homecoming server is and probably the other servers too I don't know is the new content. They have uh released uh new storylines earlier, you know, like we just played through some uh, in the last week, we played through a new villain and hero story arc, but um, they have a new strike force that they have on the beta server right now, and it's Red Side. So uh, it's the Dr. Aeon strike force, and it's really, really, really good. The stuff they're doing is very creative. Um, I believe uh, Cobalt Arachne it was the, the dev in charge of this. Um, and uh, it was fantastic fun. It was a huge event on Saturday and Sunday with folks streaming and trying out the new, that new Aeon Strike Force. They did some really cool stuff to some power sets that are coming out, uh, some new power sets that are coming out. And it's just like one of the fun things about being there is uh, it's, it's not a dead game, but it's just like, okay, now it's, you know, 
<laughs> Dithok's following. Hey. Dithok is following. Of course, it's almost as if we summon Dithok. Hey, <laughs> we were just talking about all the streamers that we've met that we just adore so much, and here goes one of them. It's Dithok. <laughs> Uh, he just followed us and and we thought I thought we were pretty well hidden. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. So yeah, you have to follow Dithok too. That's D Y T H O K, y'all. <laughs> but uh so the new content that they've got, we're not going to go into or list it. Just know that I am super excited for it to hit the live for it to hit the live servers cuz like we didn't we didn't have any problems or bugs with it but of course they will be will have been finding those and dealing with those uh before it goes live uh dipok <laughs> coh pride <laughs> um you know it's gonna be really great when they bring it to the live servers for us so and we will definitely be covering that in detail when we do when they do but that's pretty much pretty much it for patch notes at least what we're going to be covering today <clears throat> right yeah and the main topic for today, uh, I think it's the perfect place to start is, well, how do you play again? How do you get on Homecoming? Mm -hmm. um, so I thought we would do a, a quick, quick little tutorial on how to get onto Homecoming and, uh, and start playing this game again. Like we said, there's a number of servers. We're going to do a special on the other servers and kind of what each one specializes on. Um, if you, you know, if you just do a search for you know, City of Heroes server or whatever, you'll find them. But um, uh, I'll mention really quick some of the big ones. Uh, Rebirth is one server. Thunder Spy um, has uh, kind of a lot of extra costume options. Um, Cake, uh, Cake Evolution or New Dawn, they keep going through name changes. They've got a lot of uh, new uh, power, uh, power sets and ATs. There's a Unity, a Union, and then a bunch of other ones. Um, but so those are other servers we want to make sure that, you know, uh, we don't give, well, I mean, I say bias to Homecoming. We don't have any connection with Homecoming or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It just happens to be where we play. Um, and it has the biggest population. So um, fair or not, that's where, you know, most people go. <laughs> it's where we call home. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so let me uh, switch screens here, and um, hey, that actually worked. Nice. <laughs> Crazy. And so, we will be doing listener meetups in the future again. That is something I really do miss and hope you guys can join back for. And Homecoming is where we'll be doing it, so. Yeah, for real. So you start ah smooth is following thank you smooth the real smooth another great streamer <laughs> the real yeah. smooth uh just another city of heroes streamer and other sh and other games but uh he's like what the heck is this <laughs> <laughs> we used to do coh podcast and we're restarting it this is our first episode of the new run you can't just go around making all these new channels. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can, Smooth. Right. Yes, we can. <laughs> and that is T H E R E A L S M O O F, the real Smooth. Oh, and not right. telling anyone. <laughs> we were trying to be sneaky. We're shy. We're shy. We weren't we didn't sure know that our video was stuff work. was going to work. We're shy. <laughs> um, and I just realized I need to. Either put mine on that side, or you guys are really mine. bringing it. I love so, it. Because when I go to look at your video, I'm looking the opposite way. Anyway, you're looking at the chat. It's okay, baby. <laughs> so to uh, get started on Homecoming, you go to homecomingservers.com, and homecomingservers.com is going to drop you in their forums, which are very active. We know from back in the day. All of us UH players love our forums. <laughs> and the way this works is you have to create a forum account, which is completely free. Um, you just come up. Um, I'm sorry. No, that's not create. Duh. I'm already logged in. So normally there would be a button to create account. And it's a very simple name, email address. Hit send, confirm your email address, and then boom, you're in the forums. Once you're in the forums, you're gonna come down here to get getting started. And getting started is where you find 
the files, the original game files, and they've done this really great job of packaging this up um, into the Homecoming launcher. When the servers first came back, there was a client called Tequila, um, and Tequila did handle getting the game files and all that for you, and they have evolved that. There was uh, kind of got like open sourced, and anyways, Homecoming made some modifications and changes and improvements for them, and so now they have the Homecoming launcher. You download that, it's a Windows installer. There is also a launcher for Mac OS X called Island Rum. There was a dedicated launcher for Linux, and I think everybody just does, just uses either Tequila or Homecoming, and um, they use the Wine. If you're a Linux gamer, you know what Wine is, I don't need to explain it. Um, <laughs> Linux has its own gaming hell, which has been getting much better. Wine's gotten way better, and Steam has made things way better. But anyways, um, the Homecoming Launcher will work uh, on Linux under Wine. So you launch launch the launcher, and it'll essentially just uh, ask you to pick a directory where you want to put the game files. I put them on the root of my drive, um, you know, C colon backslash COH, just to make things easy. And when you launch the Homecoming launcher, it just kind of stick it right there. And it's it's very um, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. Um, like I say, when you install, it's going to ask you where you want to where you want to put it, and that's considered the root of the um, the root of the game directory. I guess you can go with its defaults. And it once it does its install, you're going to see this thing's going to do a whole bunch of verifying, a whole bunch of files. And once it's, it'll say it, it'll be ready when it's done, and then you just hit the play button, and boom, it launches. It launches the game, which I'm already logged into the game, um, as you can see on this screen. And it's this, it's the wonderful game with all of the wonderful elements you remember, and we all remember so fondly. <laughs> It's literally that simple. It's, um, you know, I think uh, four gigabytes, four or five gigabytes of files. That's the, all the original pigs, the pig files and the executables for the original game at sunset. And then it downloads a bunch of custom mod stuff from the new servers with the new content, which has, I mean, oh man, new costumes that like they've expanded everything there's new power sets new costumes there's like viv said earlier there's new task forces there's new new everything which is so cool um and, and one of our main topics in a future episode is going to be the beta servers mm. and uh well there's one beta server but it, it's literally the same thing on on here in beta you're gonna kick, click one button to install it and when it says ready, you just hit the button to play mm -hmm. and it uses your same um, username and password. So you can look at beta content um, or test builds. There's all sorts of cheats to give yourself influence and um, give yourself levels to be able to, to uh, test specific things in the game. And uh, so that's a great resource that we're totally going to cover in a, you know, another episode. <laughs> um, is anything you want to add about, about installing and launching um no i think you're the expert there babe <laughs> um uh one thing <laughs> uh, <laughs> smooth <laughs> smooth said uh so does this mean viv will not be streaming anymore on her channel and i said no way i'll still be doing mine as usual and smooth said <laughs> yeah, Chooch needs you, not the other way around. Cough. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to see this podcast starting back up. Oh, thank you, Smooth. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, I just realized I skipped a step. You did? What did you skip? Yeah. <laughs> How could you? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, let me hide that guy. Okay, so... Uh... We created the forum account, and in the forum account, we did the homecoming launcher. And if you were to have typed your forum name and password, that would not have worked. The forum account is different from the game account. So you create your forum account, and that's why down here it says, having trouble? <laughs> There's an extended setup guide, 
and you can say, hey, just made an account, but can't log in, create a game account here. So when you click there, I'm not gonna click there because it's gonna show my game account. When you click there, <laughs> it will, um, it'll give you just a username and password page to create your actual game account. And in the future, when you go there, all it is is just a password change page to be able to change your game password if you want to. So that's the extra step. You have to do the install, but while you're while it's downloading, go ahead and create your game account. When you sign into the game and you create your first character, this is important. That's going to be your global handle. Whatever this is your, important. Whatever your first character is named is going to be your global handle. So you might think about a throwaway character or something. Or, you know, for me, I think it's much easier to make that make it a fairly short name and one without spaces because that'll make mm. future teaming and grouping easier. <laughs> but um, that caught most of us by surprise when we yeah. ended up. Wait, what's my global? Oh, <laughs> I think we get one global change. Yeah, you are allowed to change your global once or every once in a while. And I'm sure the GMs would, you know, they're very, uh, they're very good and very responsive and very helpful. So. I'm sure they would let you, but yeah, it's, it's, every um, once in a while is right. what a uh, smooth thinks the real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> and there is this frequently asked questions page that is just a, does a really great job of answering the really straightforward. Um, it is super simple and, um, and there's a lot of help out there. Yeah. So I hope you download it and join it and join us uh, coming back to this great game. Mm. Right? Testify. <laughs> because it's as, it's as, I'm, I'm just going to say it, it's as great mm -hmm. as you remember. It's as fun. It's as awesome. The people, almost without exception, are as cool and fun to hang out with oh i'm waiting to see what smooth's about to say <laughs> <laughs> so we talk every once in a while um to be fair i think you should start from level one we're gonna actually be starting again from level one um yeah viv mentioned um oh since you're doing praetorian <laughs> episodes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on on Viv's on Viv's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash vividmuse, we've been doing the heroes on Saturday, so we're gonna be doing that, you know, here in in a couple hours. And our heroes, we started at level one, no double XP. We just we've just been running through the mission chains and, and we've task paused forces. Our XP. And we've turned off XP a few times so we don't outlevel the contacts. And our characters are 48, so we're probably going to hit 50 today. And we were just talking about what our next characters are going to be. We're going to start back at one, I guess. I think. Smith says, I think you should start from level one since you're doing Praetorian episode zero. That's what I'm doing on Gold Side. I'm still only level four. Sweet. Yeah, there's so, like, you forget how much content there is. And one of the things that, um, we found and then i kind of put my i don't know i don't want to say put my foot down i just really wanted to experience the content and and like so no double xp obviously because you can go to 50 like super crazy fast now um because you can turn on double xp per month well you have to refresh it every eight hours of play but it's free so you could double xp your way up really fast there's farms there's AE farms and all the other farms that there used to be. There's a whole community going on there. But there is just so much content for each zone. We didn't we didn't even attempt to do all the hero side content. Um, we just did what was fun for us coming up. Of course, we did all the task forces and stuff. Want to do all the eye trials and stuff. But like on our Wednesday night game where we're playing Red Side, we're doing every story arc. We are reading, and that's the other thing is we read everything aloud, like everything, all the mission stuff, all the clues, all the contacts, all the NPC text that we can catch. We're reading all of it so that we can really experience what the writers wanted us to in that content. And it has been a totally different ride 
uh, especially on red side because you're villains and you're doing some things like the first night i literally was like i need to shower now i feel so dirty <laughs> <laughs> one of the first missions we had to do was just so ick like you know back in early 2000s mid 2000s it was or i guess that would have probably been like later than that but you know they didn't do anything horrible but like through 2021's lens it's like ew i can't believe i did that you know it's just like eh. <laughs> but that's what you're doing right smooth says i finally finished all the first area but i still got to get all the badges yep there's there's just so much there so that's what we're doing with red side as we're reading everything and blue side that's harder to do because I, I just can't even imagine how how like how long that would take. And so I think it's fun the way we're doing it. We'll try to take it uh, like a different branch next time. Like we'll still do the task forces because they're fun and you need those for the accolades and stuff like that. But you know we're gonna try and and keep it interesting and fresh. And um, and hopefully you guys will join along because it's really fun. And some of this stuff requires a lot of people, so we could really. <laughs> like when we start doing the eye trials and it's 24 people like come on <laughs> well you know 24 or 48 but um it's just there's so much and we're having a lot of fun just sharing that and um and hanging out with cool people like smooth <laughs> like if you take it slow there's hours upon hours upon hours of content yes and it's so fun and they do it in ways where you have choices and you can make different you know different decision trees and stuff like that it's all interesting smooth i'm not cool by any means don't listen to them y'all better <laughs> listen it's smooth <laughs> Well, that I mean, I think that that's uh, that's pretty much covers like what we're doing on my mm -hmm. stream. Like right now, I'm only streaming City of Heroes. I keep saying I'm going to stream other games, but I'm kind of living for this one right now. It's too fun with this community we have. That's right. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. What did you ask me, Chooch? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, yeah, I just wanted to kind of cover what we've been doing on the other stream. And, um, yeah. you know, that is going to stay separate. We're not merging the channels or anything. No. Um, yeah. We will do gameplay on this channel. Yep. But. Uh, definitely if we do, do uh, gatherings with, yes. uh, with, with yes. you all. And if there's like TFs or something like that, that, that viewers or listeners, uh, I don't know what to call them. I mean, they were listeners, but if they join us on Twitch side, they'd be viewers too. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but like, you know, there's just so much and they've, they've made it really easy. They recognize homecoming recognizes that they don't have the number of players that they had on the live servers. They um, have made it, made all of, all of the, the things that used to require a team of eight or a team of four or whatever, um, they've made that so you can solo them even, you know? So you can like, remember y'all remember the, the transcendence trial that Chooch and I streamed <laughs> a thousand years ago right. and we like fifth it at one point and then had to start over, you know, <laughs> but uh, you know, that one was, the transcendence trial you used to have to have eight players and there would have to be a player at each crystal and they would have to click on it at the same time we would do a countdown and now you can just click on one at a time like they make all these things so quality of life improvements so that you can spend your time enjoying the game instead of being frustrated trying to spend your time building a team that will click them be there the whole time not go afk do all the things that were frustrating on the live servers, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very true. Smooth says, I stream far too many things, lol. We are associates, compadres, people with like loves, all of the above. We are pals. <laughs> 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 now, I, I, what did you want to do next, my love? So that was really it. So yeah, just closing out. Well, we do have some feedback. Oh, right, right, feedback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. As unlikely as that is. 
I have uh, I have two emails. I grabbed a couple of emails from folks that we've gotten over the since we announced that live is back. And Paul says, "Hey gang, I am what I refer to as an MMO uh, hobo, and it is always nice when I wander into an MMO and have a show like yours to relive the history of it. I did play COH when COV came out, but sadly my wife just didn't get into it. Having a blast now." And you just saw Iron Man. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> I didn't, I, I, oh, we, oh, oh, that must be when we had just seen the Iron Man movie had just come out and ah. we saw it for Mother's Day that year. We were all about the heroes. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's where the, I guess that's where Paul was. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That was, can you imagine? Now think about that for a minute. Iron Man had just come out. The first Iron Man had just come out and that was 13 14 years ago wow. and think about how many gosh darn marvel films there are now right and now they're in phase that has been four. built off of the success of that and i stand by my i still say that was a good movie it was a surprising superhero movie based on what oh, we had yeah. up to then it was Ooh. groundbreaking i i doubled <laughs> pardon me so I thought that was cute. Um, and then Rob says, greetings. And now this is January of this year. The other one was 2019. This one's 2020. Uh, I just want to take a moment to thank you for the City of Heroes podcast. I played back on live around 2006, so it's been a while. I recently found out about the comeback of the game and have been playing on Rebirth for three months now. I love it. It's a small server population, but everyone I've come across has been really nice. Oh, that's great to hear. So that's Rebirth. Out of the blue, it occurred to me to search for COA, a City of Heroes podcast, so I was delighted to come across yours and extra delighted that your archive of episodes is still available. Good job, Juge. Thank you for the time you have put into the podcast. You clearly love the game and it absolutely shows. I'm only 10 episodes in. I started with your newest one about the hidden server and then started from the beginning. Know that if you choose to ever continue the podcast, you'll have listeners. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons that we started up. Right. <laughs> exactly. And then, and then we had, we had just one more that I'm going to read. And I don't know if you pulled up the audio chooch for it. I did not. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you, can you or no? Um, it was email, right? Yeah, email. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Um, let me see, where is it? I was going to read the email part. Here we go. So, yeah, let me read this part first before you play it. Or I which, guess you could just play it. I guess you don't need to. Which one? The bye? Hmm? The, the goodbye? Yeah, so this is cool. from... Are you... Um, I found the email. Do you want me to read it or do you want sure, to read it? Sure, yeah, the go for it. First? Go ahead and read it. So the email is this is from 2010. <laughs> 2010, y'all. He says, Hi, Chooch and Viv. I'm very sorry to hear that you're putting the show on extended hiatus. I've attached a voicemail for episode 51. <laughs> also included are two if the audio bios from the second batch. I sent you that a while back and never got a chance to use. We talked about them briefly at Dragon Con in 2009. One of these is a character that I took from 1 to 50 in the podcast SG, <clears throat> Hatrobot, and I thought that might be cool. If you can use them, great. Otherwise, it's no huge thing. All the best, Kurt, the camera guy. So if you want to play the bye, and then we'll hold on to the bios. Yeah. That was another fun thing is we used to have people send us their bios for their favorite heroes and we would play them that was so fun <laughs> flapjack jones i remember one all right <laughs> hi chooch and viv kurt the camera guy from the wandering geek podcast over at wanderinggeek.com ding okay anyway uh just calling to let you know wow i'm kind of bummed that you guys are Taking a uh, an extended hiatus, an extended unplanned hiatus. That's it. That's how I'm approaching this, because I really hope you guys decide to come back someday. Uh, I know I've done that a couple of times over on my show, so uh, yeah, with any luck, we'll we'll hear from you at least occasionally or eventually. 
I'm just, uh, you know, dropping you a, a voicemail here to thank you guys for doing a City of Heroes podcast in the first place. When I decided to come back to the game, uh, I had been out for a while and wanted to try to catch up. And, and, you know, since I was doing the podcast anyway, I figured there might be something out there. And lo and behold, I found you guys uh, about episode 14 or so. And I went back and listened to uh, all the stuff in the archives. And I have to say, there there wasn't a single episode of the City of Heroes podcast that I didn't have an aha moment or, uh, gee, I'll have to try that moment. There was always something, even in the readings of the release notes, there was something that I, I could use on one of my characters that I didn't know about. So that was always super cool. The fact that you guys came out with a podcast, with an E, uh, super group for the, the listeners of the show was absolutely fantastic. I always enjoyed the meetups uh, when we were able to do them, including when we were able to trick you into having one. And m- my wife, uh, Mrs. Camera Guy, and I, we leveled a, uh, a duo from 1 to 50 uh, as members of the podcast. So that would be Fiery Spirit and Patrobot. So, yeah, we, uh, we enjoyed the heck out of that and enjoyed playing with anyone who happened to be online at the time. It was great meeting you guys at Dragon Con and doing a panel about podcasting for gamers. Uh, that was Trey Cool, and, and like I say, I hope this uh, just turns out to be uh, some sort of extended hiatus and that eventually you guys come back. Uh, you know, I, I, until you do, I know I can do City of Heroes news over on, on my show without stepping on any toes. I've been kind of avoiding that because, uh, you know, I didn't want to get in your guys' way, but uh, now I can do that. And I will keep uh, keep, keep the embers uh, warm for you until you decide to come back. So until we hear from you next time, and I'm sure there will be a next time. Good hunting, heroes. Awesome. My gosh, you guys, I'm dead. I'm dead. This is just too good of a moment. I'm just too happy right now. (laughs) (laughs) We're listening to Kurt, the camera guy, telling us that he's going to miss us 11 years ago. And then we have Lobster Live raid us with a party of seven. And we've got hellos from our friends, Lobster Live and Taxi. It's just like so awesome, you guys. You guys, if you are not (laughs) playing City of Heroes again yet, you have to and you have to come to Homecoming and you have to come and play with us so you can meet our friends here that stream here and that play on this server because... We were trying to get this episode in under the radar. We didn't expect anybody to watch. I told you, nobody's going to watch today. It's just going to be you and me. And we've just, my heart is up. Just my heart containers are full. Y'all just did it. Y'all just did it. (laughs) (sighs) Y'all brought it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much to Lobster Live, another amazing City of Heroes streamer. And of course, tax underscore E is amazing as well. So uh, yeah, it's such a great fun community, you guys. I can't wait for you to get here. I hope you get here soon. We have stuff to play. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, The emo Viv is emo again. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, everybody. This is very cool. Thank you. And that is our feedbacks. That's, that's, That's our show. That's our episode. That's our episode. We we kept it at roughly an hour, which is amazingly disciplined. Amazingly, because I <laughs> wanted to sit here and talk to everybody. Oh, Smooth has feedback. <laughs> All right. Well, I got some feedback for you. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. <laughs> Chooch set the schedule, and he said that, no, we should have an hour break between this and when my stream starts. So... I don't know. Chooch decided this. Right. Oh, I, I was, I was, uh, you know, scared that if we were going long, then we'd have to cut or smush or, you know, do something half-assed. And yeah, it seemed responsible. Yeah. To have a break, but we will be <laughs> back in an hour for reals. Yes. <laughs> so why don't we? <laughs> Nemesis Bot with a Luska. That is a cool. Oh, I love Nemesis Bot. And you have <laughs> been rebuilt. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so do you want to raid somebody right now and take all these good people to um, someone's channel and then they can come back and see For Vivid real. Muse channel at uh, in an hour? For real. I haven't Whole done it from this, this from this side. 
Oh, so I guess we're half-assing it if we stop now. That's what Lobster Live is implying. <laughs> that's, um, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but we, we thought we would be, you know, super conservative for the first episode back, right? <laughs> um, where'd my Taxi tab says go? Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> where'd my tabs go? There we go. There we go. Quick actions. Raid channel. There we go. Right? <laughs> oh, by the way, we expect to be back. Uh, we Right now, we plan on doing this every two weeks. Um, it'll either be at three or four mountain time zone, depending on this. Because I kind of was of the same mind. Let's just roll this into playtime afterwards. But yeah. also not knowing if this was going to work. <laughs> Yeah. So in the future, uh, we'll update the stream. Um, if you want to give a follow, then you'll get notified. And uh, we're going to be doing other stuff there too, not just COH podcasts episodes. We're, you know, that's why it's Chooch and Viv and not COH podcasts anymore. <clears throat> oh, Taxi. So we are going to, um, our usual, we're going to go back to what our original format was back in the day, which is uh, news events, anything fun and exciting that's going on. We're going to focus on homecoming servers since that's where we play. We're going to share information about the other servers as well because we have no hate or, or dislike or anything. Everybody should play where they're happiest. But this is where we're going to focus. We'll do patch notes like we used to do and um, answer listener questions. Mm -hmm. We also do different uh, like spotlight things. We did accolade spotlights and faction spotlights. And we're going to give a lot of information mainly on how do you play now? Like Chooch earlier went through, how do you get on the server and how do you get the forum account and create your first characters and stuff? So he covered that for uh, the listeners that we're going to be putting this in the feed for. And uh, we're going to be covering things like the differences in the travel powers for people that are just back and are like, what the heck is going on with the, what's the infiltration? I want to be invisible, you know, kind of stuff in addition to the travel powers and just kind of like what we used to do. It's a casual, casual approach. Um, cause that's all we are. We're not, you know, taxi knows we're not, mid <laughs> we are not like power players and stuff like that. We just play to have fun and you know, we've had so much fun doing this podcast. It opened a whole nother world to us and we just miss the folks that we were in the world with at the time. So, um, you know, that's what, that's what the goal is, is to kind of get homecoming, um, a little bit more accessible for folks that are intimidated about the process or about the changes in it, you know, because mm -hmm. it's just such a fun game and it just, honestly, it keeps getting better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do you have any other, uh, I mean, while we're here, questions, answers, I, I did find bullets is streaming, so I think we're going to raid bullets. Righteous. Bullets is all kinds of a vibe, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love He's bullets stream. Thank you everybody for yeah. joining us today. Like, I really thought this was going to be like just us talking to each other like it used to be in the old days and all y'all are here. Dithok says now is a fantastic time to get back into COH. Absolutely. It really, really is. It's absolutely true. Lobster <laughs> Live. Lob now let me say that's Lobstar Live. L-O-B-S-T-A-R-L-I-V-E. The right. future's so bright we're gonna need sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have so many, luckily we have all those visor options. You know, it's gonna be really easy. Just go to Icon. There will be something that'll match anything for sure. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. And Dithok, I have, I had an, a little idea about something fun that we could all do together again. <laughs> like we did last weekend, but a little different. <laughs> I thought didn't have our game for years and not only is it back it comes back in so many flavors right I really feel like there is whether it's homecoming the difference between the different shards because homecoming server has different shards mm -hmm. um yeah, I didn't and mention that. Those yeah. have different flavors. Yeah, and one's so many... focused on PVP, one's focused on role playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's ours that is just slowly dying. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> plays on it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, and Smooth says so many people streaming. It's just so fun, you guys. So I hope that you, I hope that y'all can come back and uh, um, join us here, whether it's just viewing or listening or playing, <clears throat> whatever it is, we're here for it. And we appreciate your time and thanks for listening. Level up. 
Ding. <laughs> Assuming it played. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So um, I will play the outro and then we will uh, raid over to Bullet's channel. Thanks again, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Wait, what are Thanks, we? Thanks, y'all. Good hunting heroes. That's what we used to say. That's what I used to say. Kurt even said it. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Chooch and Viv. Oh, that's Kurt, not the it. Camera that's guy. the thing. <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> This podcast, its hosts, and websites are not in any way affiliated with NCSoft, Cryptic Studios, or Homecoming Servers. All views expressed are solely of the hosts and their guests. This podcast is released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike License, which is explained in detail at cohpodcast.com. Good hunting, heroes.